so it was late at night. I was really, really nervous and excited and adrenaline was like pumping through me. Um, we, went, we got led to this beautiful old house um, in the middle of this gorgeous little field. Um, and as we were coming into the house, um, we saw all these works getting done. Um, they were building a lot of the equipment. So I'm essentially the first point of call for a lot of the work that we do. So people who call in, email, any correspondence, they're usually going to get through to me. Hi, how are you? How can I help? I love my job. Oh, fabulous. So you've got little ones, do you? I always thought um, an activist would fit into one kind of shape and size. I never really considered myself to be an activist. The drive there was um, a lot of, a lot of intensive breathing and preparation. 2.30 in the morning, yeah, that was, that was a challenge. I needed to get as much coffee in me as possible. Everyone was really excited, everyone was really nervous, um, but most of all I think everybody was really ready. We're just seeing a whole bunch of all these lights going around in a flustered fashion. Um, we had the gear being pulled off trucks, we had um, people figuring out where they were going to lock on and how they were going to lock on. Oh shit. I'm really keen to see how the day progresses, but it's, I'm just really nervous at the moment for sure. Ayla um, has been my good friend for the last um, two years now. She used to work with me here at Green Peace. <laughs> Snug as a rug. She, she's an absolute gem and I wouldn't have wanted to be in that situation with anybody else. Greenpeace activists have locked themselves inside irrigation pipes in Canterbury to protest a large irrigation scheme. I was one of seven activists there representing not only the seven of us but also all the people who engaged with this campaign so far. The response from the workers was a lot more positive than expected. All of them were like, yes, we get a day off, sweet ass, see you later. Okay, so it is almost half past seven in the morning now. We've been here for almost two and a bit hours. Um, we're actually having a hoon on our breakfast. When you are trying to save the planet, you've also got to live a healthy, balanced diet. Once we got locked out off from everybody else, um, we we had to come up with ways of keeping ourselves entertained. Ayla tries to tackle the hardest task yet as an activist. Trying to peel a banana with one hand. Oh, oh, stop. That's talent. Some of the perception from the general public can be that um, these campaigns are there to target farmers, but essentially we're there to support and engage with the community. While we were down there, we had um, this farmer come down to support us. I've always been against this irrigation scheme and I found some people here that had my same views. Quite ironically, the site smells like this. <laughs> and it's not ours. I haven't really dealt with the police before, so I didn't know what they were going to bring to the table. You know, they all will ask us, are you willing to be arrested for this? And, um, you know, my answer was yes, you know, I'm willing to stay here for as long as it takes. I spoke with Greenpeace activist Alex Green, who's been chained to a digger since 3am. I mean, the most important thing is that um, the country actually uh, pays attention and, and our critical thinkers and actually look at this issue and realise that um, our waters are more precious than a short term money gain. To, to have a yarn with John Campbell is pretty, it was pretty dope. Greenpeace activists have locked themselves to heavy machinery temporarily stopping construction of an irrigation scheme in Canterbury. There have been no arrests, police describe it as a peaceful protest. We actually got this incredible outcome from, from literally just, um, just sitting there and being present and talking about these things, which was, yeah, I was relieved, I was exhausted, <laughs> I was really happy. I know that, that its outcome will carry for a really long time and, and you don't often get to say you got to do something like that. So I'm, I felt, I want to cry now, I felt really good about it, yeah, really, really good. It was incredible and I think um, you just go, this is all worth it and I want to do it again. Like, someone let me back in, <laughs> time me up again, let's do this. <laughs>